What's going on guys, welcome back to another video, and so now I'm going to show me the end here for your tattoo parlor. Um, here it is, uh, I kind of did go pretty basic, and I felt really like, uh, because I didn't know what to do with that middle space that I threw chairs in. But, um, yeah, it's pretty good, it is a little tight, I'm going to just throw some random flaming, I'm just going to flame my own build apparently. But, uh, yeah, I tried to go with something a little bit more artsy, a little bit more interesting than my average interior, and, um, yeah, that being said, hope, uh, enjoy the tutorial, and I will catch you on the flip side. Alrighty, so the space name of this is, why well, I don't need any space, all you need is your tattoo parlor from, hey, yesterday, unless you made this a different day, then it's not gonna be yesterday, but you get the point, unless you're making these on the same day or whatever, I don't know, you do you, I suppose. You do need some materials, though, and the ones you need to start off are, Spruce Plank, <laughs> Spruce Plank, sorry, PlayStation group, go crazy, Yellow Terracotta, <clears throat> Birch Doors, <laughs> Brew stores. <laughs> That's group, man. Um, polished blackstone slabs. Oh, frick. Pearlescent frog lights. Gotta go purple this time. Um, mangrove stairs. And I think we'll leave it there for now. Uh, come inside your tattoo parlor, and the first thing you want to do is you want to... Just filling your entire floor at the brick level in with spruce planks. It's fairly simple. We're not breaking this time. Almost ha almost like 95% of the time you have to break in, but you don't this time. I'm going to give myself a quick night vision as well. Hopefully everyone is having a good day or night. I am for the most part. Um, and then there's whatever's happening right now in the group. I don't know what's happening. They're trying to coordinate a PS party. And I'm trying to record over here, and it's just, you know, th there's some wild things happening. <laughs> but, I mean, yeah, other than that, you know, been a fairly normal day. I don't know what's happening. So, yeah, there's that. I'm gonna just continue to casually read these pop-ups and probably laugh every once in a while, because they're very questionable. But, uh, yeah. Also, underneath the dark oak door and the black glass next to the dark oak door, uh, you want to break that block of quartz and replace it with spruce planks. My original thought was I was going to use quartz for the floor, but I changed that, so, yeah. That's my reasoning behind this. And if you even wanted to change the outer thing, too, like this quartz to spruce, you can, although I think it would be better to keep it. There's nothing wrong with it being different. Or you could even go under the door with something different, like... I don't know. What's the thing that I use? There was something that I used, like, a, a lot, I feel like. Or something that I was using. I guess you could do, like, strip spruce or something. That's a little nightmarish thing. There's a project that I did that in. What was it? Oh my god. I don't know what it was. That annoys me. I don't know. Yeah, that's a very simple start. We're gonna start by, um... I guess preparing the... Ooh, I gotta... Hold on. No, okay, never mind, we're fine. Uh, so kind of around the black glass, what you want to do is you want to take the one row of yellow terracotta that's kind of between it and the windows and the two rows uh, next to the wall. You want to bring all that yellow terracotta out by two. Including above the door area, except for the row directly above, you want to place one row of yellow terracotta just above the black glass, and then behind that... You want to place a row of mangrove stairs, and then it'll just be yellow terracotta on top, like so. And there you go. At the line above the windows of yellow terracotta, you can just place a row of mangrove stairs that uh, traces along the front. Uh, this is when this could become mangrove, perhaps. You know. And uh, I clickbaited you. You want to destroy that left one, that far left one in that corner there. Very random, I know. It'll make sense later. There's some weird things that happen with that wall. Anyway. Come to the back right hand corner of your inside of your tattoo parlor. And what you want to do is you want to count forward by five. Oh my god, I got it. And going left place, yellow terracotta. Birch door. Three yellow terracotta. Hold on a second here. Birch door, three yellow terracotta, spruce door, and then you want to connect all the way to the left with yellow terracotta. 
the middle of each of those rows of three you can bring straight back to the wall with yellow terracotta. And then just bring all that yellow terracotta up by, what is it, five? Yes. And then the doors will come up with four. This is pretty simple interior. This should not be a long video. Um, and then... Frick, what's the day? Thursday? No, Friday. Friday's tutorial will be... Uh, the pre-alpha interior, because I know a lot of people have been waiting on that one. Uh, sorry that was such a weird gap. I wanted to throw this out because I got this suggestion. And I was like, yeah, I got to just like throw this out quickly. Don't want to disappoint. Uh, but yeah, we'll not really throw it out quickly, I guess. Just get it done and ready before I do the pre-alpha interior because I know that's going to... I can wait on that. And then after that, will probably be the player house for pre-alpha, which I'll do a like a weird half pre-alpha, half, half alpha one tutorial with that. It'll It'll be weird, but it'll make sense. So... We're going to start off with something pretty simple, and that's the ceiling. I'm going to tell you, in line with the top row of yellow terracotta, just fill in your entire ceiling with upside down polished black stone slabs. It's easier th to do this than to deal with the lights now, because it's going to screw you up anyway. Um, and also, I use polished black stone, because I wanted a bit of a darker tone for this. Artsy, but also, like, darker, because when I think of tattoos, I don't know, I always think of the darker colors. Like, I don't really see a lot of, like, pink tattoos. Like, a lot of them are, like, you know, dark greens, blacks, dark browns, like, you know, just, like, those darker shit. Dark blue, I guess. But still colorful. Still colored, I should say. Blacks, I guess, the obvious one. But, like, you're not seeing a lot of those crazy colors. So I was like, let me just, like, kind of dull it down a little bit. But also throw some art in there with the paintings, which will be a little bit weird to do. I'm going to struggle with that right now. I'm telling you that for a fact. Got an image. I know how they're supposed to work. I just don't know with, like, the bigger paintings where you need to place because I forget how that works. And I might actually change it up a little bit from what it was because I kind of just try to throw every painting in there. Which is actually only... Two of a painting once, which is pretty impressive. Also, don't forget the other roofs. It's pretty simple. And also, when you finish filling it in, I know this is weird. Make sure you're above the roof. That is the most random thing I think I've had to, like, tell you in a tutorial. But you have to be above it because of the next step. It doesn't make a ton of sense, but it makes enough. And I also want to point out I didn't make it centered. Just gonna throw that out right now. It's not centered. So, if you're above it, you'll have this space, and you're not really gonna do anything with this space. However, you wanna take out your pearlescent frog lights, and you wanna create your normal roof pattern, except you wanna just place the pearlescent frog lights just on top of the blackstone slabs. So, with the uh, two, three by five just in the middle, and then for the um, five by however long it is, I don't even know, I guess the however long by five. It's one at the left and one at the far left and far right in the middle, and then it's two block gaps in between until you, you know, are like that. And then what I did was, for the big roof, I went from the back right hand corner, I went four diagonally to left by two, and I placed a frog light. And then again, just two block gaps going in every which direction, and just keep doing this until you reach uh, agreement. It ends on a one apparently, which I guess you could just make a three if you wanted. I mean, it doesn't make a huge difference. I was gonna do some fancy lights, and then I didn't. There's <laughs> not really much else to it. I just kind of didn't. Uh, but, yeah. Maybe it wasn't this. Whatever, it's fine. No one will notice. It is a little bit annoying. Because I feel like now it might have been one. Because I don't remember the math of lining up this way. But it's fine. We'll deal with it. It, it really doesn't matter. And I'm going to be honest here. Roof patterns. Sometimes I'll make them centered. But this is one of those where it's like, whatever, man. Who cares? The roof sits in such a kind of odd situation it doesn't matter that much which if you actually wanted to remove that this row here on the side it would actually line up sign sign what kind of it would line up not front to back necessarily but well i mean it lines up in some parts but if you take away this end row it'll line up it'll it'll make sense later and then you want to break that back down below and just remember where you started that pattern so again from the back right i went forward diagonal left by two and then there you go you're gonna want to break the polished blackstone slabs below the frog lights you could technically get away with not. It still puts light through. In Bedrock, at least. I don't think it does in Java, although... Do not quote me on this. 
Because if you quote me on it, I'll probably be wrong. That's usually how that works. But, uh, yeah. And then, anything else interesting? No, I got a bunch of new ideas, hopefully, for tutorials. That'll be pretty fun. <clears throat> um, if you have any suggestions, as always, leave them in the comments, and I will try to throw them out. In the mix of all the Hello Neighbor tutorials, which will be probably getting popped out maybe, like, one every couple weeks. I'm not gonna go crazy with them. Just enough to where, you know, they're getting pumped out. But also not too many to where that's all I'm recording, you know? And also don't forget the other rooms, because those are kind of important, and they need light. Well, they will have the lighting. Is it taller in this room? Wait. Okay, no, it just feels taller for some reason in the, like, smaller rooms. Not really sure why. Oops. Ah! Some surprise. That's literally the first slab I've broken that I did not mean to break. Between the original and the new, which is kind of impressive. I guess not really the new, the uh, original and the uh, tutorial tutorial version? That makes no sense. Uh, you will need your mangrove stairs again, but I'm going to tell you to clear inventory and get out. Smooth quartz blocks. Smooth quartz slabs. Smooth quartz stairs. Oh, it's like we're making, making letters great. Stone buttons. Polished andesite slabs. Levers. Sorry, I was like confirming that this would actually fit still. Stripped dark oak. Wood. It should be wood. It can, I guess, be either or. It doesn't really matter. Packed ice. Where is ice? It's in nature, isn't it? Yep, it is. And dark oak stairs. At the left wall, you want to, along the base, place two rows of smooth quartz blocks moving out. Now, if you're doing this in survival, you don't need this to be smooth quartz. This could be dirt, if you really needed it to be. That inner row, this outer row, does have to be smooth quartz, though. Because on top of the inner row... Uh, I guess the left row, the wall, the one that convinced the wall. You want to go front to back or back to front, doesn't matter. In place strip dark oak wood facing up. Three packed ice. Let me make sure that's right. Two stripped dark oak wood. Three packed ice. Two stripped dark oak wood. Again, they're all facing up. Three packed ice. Two stripped dark oak wood. Three packed ice. Two stripped dark oak wood, three packed ice, and then one stripped dark oak wood, like so. From here on, you want to bring each stripped dark oak wood up by three, and then each packed ice will come up with two packed ice and a dark oak stair. So it'll kind of give you this will be what each mirror looks like. These are mirrors. I have to throw that out there because at least one person's going to be like, what is that? It's a mirror. Kind of very similar to my barber mirror, which was slightly intentional. But also slightly unintentional. I just was like, yep. And this is also why you, you, I kind of. I was actually originally double aired the wall fully with yellow terracotta, and then I realized I had to break like half of it. <laughs> or no, more than half of it. I literally just kept, kept the bottom row, and then the top row is visible. But I don't like that matters. You could even double layer that if you really wanted to, to give it more of like a feel that it's in the wall. And then that would also literally entirely get rid of that row of frog lights anyway. Okay, I'm gonna just start off by saying at the r at the right face of pretty much every smooth quartz block that you can place a stone button. Some of these will be destroyed, which is fine. I was just like, yeah, let's just get them out. Why not? And then again, even though some of it will be destroyed, you want to place a row of smooth quartz slabs just directly on top of that row of smooth quartz blocks. You only need to destroy like four, I think. Now, well, this is kind of convenient. In each row of two stripped dark oak wood, the front row you want to break the smooth quartz slab kind of to the left of, and then replace it with a smooth quartz stair that faces into those stripped dark oak wood. Place on that stair, lever, and power it on. And then you want to break the stone button below and replace it with a polished and a sight slab. Pretty simple, honestly. There's nothing crazy happening here. These are little sinks, because, yeah. Also, the stone buttons are like drawers, and I just wanted to make the counter a little bit taller because I felt like that would be logical enough. Um, but, yeah, you could have whatever would be in that drawer. You could even, like, if you wanted, right, you could take, say, this one and put a smooth court stair with a stone button on it and then do something like that just to make, like, an open drawer. I think that actually looks really cool. 
I didn't try that, by the way, until now. This just came in my mind. I would wait until the next step is done, though, because we kind of get a little cramped in this area. Which, by the way, you have a lot of room. I didn't use, like, 30% of the middle in here. Actually, literally any of the middle. I just threw some chairs in because I wanted to do something with it. But, like, if you want to push the chairs out in their block for what I'm going to tell you to do, feel free. It isn't going to matter much. What we need now is to clear inventory and get out of like right concrete. Mangrove stairs. Told you you'd need them again. Mangrove signs. Polished basalt. Where the frick is it? There it is. Stone brick walls, which literally creates, like, I think my favorite part of this build, which is really weird. Dark oak slabs. Well, you'll see. It's weird that it's my favorite. Dark oak stairs. I'm quite a simple man. And dark oak signs. Um, come to the back wall. That seems reasonable enough. The back wall of yellow terracotta. And the fourth spruce plank out from the uh, smooth quartz, which is this one right here. You want to place a mangrove stair on. Left and right, we place mangrove signs. That stair should be facing forward, by the way. You want to, from this count, forward two and left one, and break this spruce plank and replace it with a polished basalt. Again, if you want to shift this all right a block, you have room. Um, on top of that, place a stone brick wall. That's my favorite part right there. It literally, like, perfectly fits, and it's really funny. Um, and then anyway, on top of that, place a dark oak slab, which I would actually make into a block temporarily, because on the left of it, you want to place an ups and down dark oak stair facing left. And that uh, plank thing needs to be a slab again, and then bring that slab also right by one. So it'll give you this. Place a dark oak sign front and back of that middle slab thing. It's not really the mi it's not the middle slab. The middle block. I like that. It is a slab of dark oak. You want to, one block away from the sink to the right, you want to break the stone button and replace a light gray concrete. What you just did, you have to do on every single one. I'm going to start with the light gray concrete, and I mean the entire thing, by the way, not just the light gray concrete. And since there is no sink at the end here, hold on, let me give you the number, because I don't know what it is off the top of my head. It is... It is, yeah, it is one off the edge as well, like that. And then you want to basically copy this. So how this will work is, from each uh, dark oak seat, they will all be the same, the dark oak seat, though, you want to leave a two block gap moving left and place a mangrove stair facing left. It will be in line with the sink. And then again, the signs either side, count left two, or I guess forward two, left one, polished basalt in the floor, stone brick wall on top, dark oak slab, opposite on dark oak stair left, slab right of the other slab, sign front and back of that middle slab. I know I went th through that really quickly. It's not a crazy design. There's nothing interesting happening here. And then again, basically, the mangrove stairs will be in line with the sinks. That's how you should know. And then once there is no more sink, there is no more mangrove stair. Because then you'd be in the wall. <laughs> Which probably isn't really good. I don't think you want to be sitting in a wall. Especially in real life. In a video game, that's understandable. And then again, it's kind of sort of diagonal. Look, there goes my night vision. Like that. And then the stone brick wall. And then the, I guess, slab plank thing with the stair. I don't really feel like explaining it multiple times. Hopefully you should get the point. Because explaining's lame, let's be honest here. And then also the dark oak signs. You can watch me build it too if you are confused, although I'm doing it in an interesting way. And then again, now is that point where you might want to revisit the stair thing with the um, buttons just for fun. And like, let me see. Hmm, maybe, maybe a good spot would be right up or like right here. This would be a pretty good spot. And, you know, just, like, throw a couple drawers sticking out if you really want. I think it's a pretty cool design, because I just came up with it, and I like when I come up with things on the spot. It's pretty fun. You should try it one time. You should try making a tutorial just to come up with something cool on the spot and feel good about yourself. Um, anyway. So, you'll notice... I left these fairly open. You can wall them all off, although that would screw with your spacing a bit. But... Which, it is a very tight spacing. I jammed a lot into one area. I can't lie. <laughs> um, so, I mean, if you wanted to remove, like, I don't know, every other one or something, you can. Or just, like, shift them around. I know it's late now. But, you get the point. 
But uh, I added privacy walls, as I'll call them, to a few of them. Now, they're not really that good. They're just a wall. It's just like a wall. So, like, if you're... You can very, very clearly just peek in. Although, to, granted, they're both on this side. So, like, you know, if it's that one, then we'd have other concerns. But, from basically from the mangrove stair, what you want to do is you want to... And it's going to be every other mangrove stair you want to do this with. So, you want to count forward by two. No, frick. Right by two, sorry, not forward by two. And then you want to place moving forward, five stone brick walls, and then go left one. So it'll be diagonally touching that stair, That which you can't fit through that. You'd have to like do some sick parkour or something. If you don't want that there, you just fine. Although I'd personally prefer that being there, just because I think it's more logical. And then it would be the stair here, so the middle, yeah, the middle stair. Uh, count right two, plus uh, moving forward, was it five walls? Yeah, and then left one. And then each wall will just be brought up by two. And just for little privacy walls. So the people wa waiting can't watch you. Because I know some people are probably a little bit like, I don't want to be watched while I'm getting a tattoo on my back. Like, you know, I'm not going to judge where you're getting your tattoos. Um, I, mean, I suppose if it's really that bad, just shove them in the closet. <laughs> just put them in the closet. <laughs> Although, don't leave them in there because that's probably illegal. But, you know... Borderline jokes aside, um, let's finish off the main room. Clear your inventory and get out to gray terracotta. Stone brick stairs. Paintings and a lot of them. And then, I don't know what the other material is, I forget which stair it is. Give me, like, five seconds. Did I really not get an image of the stair? I didn't get an image of the stairs, wait. Dark oak stairs. And spruce trapdoors. I'll have to check that later, but I know it's dark oak stairs. I just don't know where they're going to be placed. That's what I need to confirm. Okay. What you want to do is from the front right hand corner, you want to count to the fifth spruce plank back, which is this one. And going left, you can place six gray terracotta. Hey, that lines up. Then bring it back by 13. And then really just like on the fifth block in on either side, just place a stone brick stair and then it'll leave four in the middle. Now, for the back wall here, you can do whatever you want. I don't care what you do. For what I did, I'm going to talk this through. So from the back left-hand corner, you want to go up diagonally to the up diagonally forward by one. I'm going to just base this lefts and rights normally, as if the front would be the right and then this would be the left. Up diagonally to the right by one. This will be the bottom corner of a 4x4 four four painting, so I believe you have to go up diagonally to the right again to place it. Yes, I did the skull one here. I'm going to tell you which paintings I did only because they're all different paintings, except I didn't use like a lot of the 4x4s four or the 2x4s, or the 4x2s, sorry. Although I did actually throw it on the other wall, which I'm not going to do in this one because I hate that I did that. Uh, bottom right corner of that, there will be a one by one here, which I made the the mainly black and white one. It's I'll get it. Hold on, give me a sec. You're you're gonna struggle later on. Well, actually, you'll struggle a lot. Uh, give me a sec. I'll get there. I swear. There it is. This one. Up from that, I did a 2x2, two two, and the 2x2 two two is actually that one, which is the angel-looking one. Above that, I did a 1x2, which is the creeper. Wow, look at this craziness. Uh, and then below the right side of the 2x2, two two, at the bottom here, I placed a 1x2, which is that weird... I didn't use that one! No, that's upsetting. Okay. Well, uh, you can use that one, although I used this one. I don't even know how to describe that. It looks like... I don't even know what it looks like. Um, above the right side of that, I placed a 2x2, two two, which was is the blue skull, which is this one. Above that, 1x2, which I'm actually going to make the landscape one. I originally had it this one, except it was like the weird pixelated red and green face, but I'm going to do the mountain landscape because I like that one. Below the right side of the 2x2, two two, I placed a, another 1x1, one one, which is the kind of green looking thing. I don't even know what it is. It's the green slimy looking thing, the dark green with the, I don't know what it is. Oh yeah, this one. With a red cup next to it. Maybe that's a green cup. I don't know. 
Right of that, I placed a 1x2, which is the uh, Mario Man. That's what I'm calling him. It's that guy. Not Mario at all, but whatever. Above that, 1x2. Whoopsies. 1x2, which is that uh, yellow one that looks like yellow. I, it's mainly yellow. It's this one. Above that, another 1x2. This is like the giraffe looking one. That's what I'm going to call it. I know my descriptions are really bad, but also they're probably slightly comical. Oh my god, I'm not going to get it. I just realized that's also mainly yellow, but it's fine. There we go, that one. It looks like a giraffe. Um, come back down to the right of the bottom of the Mario one, and I placed a 1x2, which is that fully black and white one. It looks like two dudes fighting. It's this one. And then above the left side of that, I placed a 1x2, which is the Enderman, Slenderman, red-headed dude. Uh, above that, one by one, which is that kind of cool green, blue, yellow one. Um, this one. Right at that, I placed another one by one, which... I'm actually going to make this a one by two now. I'm going to make it this one, the, like, weird... It's the creeper one, but it looks like it has a flower as, a, as its head. Which then misses, means we miss one one by one, which is fine. Yeah, I'm actually also going to change this up a little bit. Below that, in this kind of slot where a 2x2 two two would fit nicely, I placed the Bob Ross one. Oh my god, I missed the Wither one, too. I missed so many. Um, below that, I placed a 1x1, one one, and this will be that kind of that yellow-skied one with the green buildings. It is... That one. Frick, I just got it, and then I broke it. That one, there we go. Right of that, 2x2, two two, which I made the spider. Above that, another 2x2, two two, which I made the campfire. Although, I guess you can make it the wither. Yeah, the campfire. Right of that, I placed a... Which, you'll need to go a little bit more from that spider one. You'll need to go right to from the top block. I placed a 4x4, four four, which is the uh, pig. I don't even know how to describe this. It's a girl riding a pig. And I did place the um, Donkey Kong one here as well, although I'm not going to place that. I'm going to leave it as that. Although, to make it even, I'm going to add the 2x2 two two that I missed, which is the wither. And I think I missed another 2x2 two two or something. Did I? No, but I'll throw the 1x2 in that I missed. Or no, I didn't I didn't get that missed. Never mind. So, I'll, I'll leave it even then. Because I like it better even. Unless you wanted to do the 2x4 and then have a bunch of random ones above it. Oops. That one. Although, I'm just going to leave it there. And then I threw a few more on this wall here. I'm not going to throw those on. I don't like where those were. I need to give uh, give me a moment because I have to check the um, positioning of the chairs. I apologize. I kind of forgot this. So, from the second gray terracotta back here on the, the side. I don't know what to call it. The uh, At the kind of left side. You want to go left. You want to count left by six. And place a dark oak stair facing right. Leave a two block app, place dark oak stair, two block app, stair, two block app, stair. And then I guess if you want to go one more, two block app, stair. To the back side, or I guess the right from my perspective of each stair, you want to place a spruce trap door off of it. This is going to start to look like a school desk. And then to the left of the one to the right, and then basically, okay, I don't know how to explain this properly. To the, I guess to the right of that trap door, or back for, from whatever perspective, you want to place a spruce trap door and you want to open it up against that other trap door. So it gives you like a kind of 7, a really, really badly drawn 7. And you want to do this for all of them. Like so, and it kind of gives you a little table connected to each one, which I think looks pretty nice. I fiddled around with table designs. I also tried to sign on a carpet, because I thought that'd be cool. It looked weird, but it is an option. Even if you wanted to, right? This would be a bigger table, but if you wanted to put two trap doors, like, open into each other and then carpet on top, that'd look pretty cool, I think. Yeah, it's okay. I think it worked better if it's the same carpet and trap door color. Anyway, we're pretty much done already. You need now uh, to clear your inventory and get out dark oak signs, glow ink sack, white dye or bone meal, whichever you prefer, and then smooth stone slabs, and then we just need one more set for the bathrooms. Above either bathroom door, you want to place a dark oak sign. I'd go down a line and type men in one sign, women in the other, and I'd do it in all caps because I just find it more better. I like all caps. I don't know why. I just, I like screaming. No, I just like writing in all caps. It's better.
Not like writing, writing, but like making Minecraft stuff in all caps. Anyway, left click each sign once with glowing, sack once with white dye. Pretty simple. Come into the dreaded spruce door and surrounding the walls along the bottom row, you want to place a row of opposite down smooth stone slabs. Don't cover up the door, you'd want to be able to come in here. I left a one block app from the door at the uh, longer side, and then the other side I just went right up, against, right up into the wall. And then I went third row with yellow terracotta up, and I went the same pattern with normal smooth stone slabs. And then two more rows up, I went ups and down smooth stone slabs. So you're leaving one block gaps in between each row. Exactly one block. That's why I switched it up, because I wanted it to be more even and also not a block and a half, because a block and a half is a lot. Which means, unfortunately, you can't actually place anything on this middle shelf. If you're going to, you know, not enjoy that, then change it. I'm not really going to cry too too hard. But, um, you know, I just think it looks better this way. For somebody who is not looking for a ton of aesthetic in here. It's the back room, let's be honest. They never have anything. Um, clear inventory for the final time. Well, not the final time. And you want to get out smooth quartz blocks. Smooth quartz stairs. Birch trap doors. Levers. Hold on, let me check what the next material is. I forget what I specifically made it. Stone stairs. Composter and oak trap door. Come into either bathroom. In the back center, you place a smooth quartz block. Forward from it, upside down smooth quartz stairs. The lever did not grab. That is a great, awesome experience. Above that trap door, or above that, and god dang it, above that stair, place a birch trap door. Behind that trap door, place a smooth quartz block. Left of that block, place a lever. We'll call it front left corner, composter with an oak trap door on top. Come to the front right hand corner, count back one. Upside down stone stair facing left with a lever on top of it, powered on. If you want to do a trip wire hook, then, you know, that's personal preference. That's literally all the bathroom is. I changed the sink design. At least give me, like, three credit points for that. Also, I feel like this would be the type of place that would have bathrooms, but they, but they would be locked, and you'd have to ask for permission to use them. I don't know why I get that vibe. Just like, you know, certain, like, gas stations and stuff, I know do that. It's like, okay, yeah, hold on, let me unlock it. Like, you know. I was actually going to make them un inaccessible. I was going to make an employee area, and I was going to make, like, individual rooms, but I was looking at images, like, yeah, I'll just make them all. Kind of like a barber shop, almost. Which is what I was trying to go for, more of that feel. Well, um, yeah, what is on that, ladies and gentlemen? That is your tattoo parlor complete. Now, the floor is kind of bare. Obviously, if you want to add carpets and stuff, feel free. I, go are, are as artistic as you want. I'm not an extremely artistic person. I can't lie. I'm terrible at art. But, um, yeah, thank you so much. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Have a fantastic day or night, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.